Three things about Performance Max campaigns that Google will not tell you, but is really important for you to know. That's what I'm going to cover in this video. This is particularly relevant for people who have existing campaigns running because it's going to affect the performance of them. So I'm going to cover three things you need to know and make sure you stay through to the end of the video because I also throw in a bonus one as well. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel. Let's go dive right in. So the first thing Google won't tell you about Performance Max is that it's what's called a high priority campaign. That means that it takes precedent over really any other campaigns that you are running in your existing Google ad account. So if you've got campaigns that are running maybe a shopping campaign or a search campaign and you decide to launch a performance max in conjunction with those other campaigns, don't be alarmed if suddenly your ex existing campaigns are not getting impressions, not getting clicks, therefore not spending any money and, and obviously having a decline in performance. That's because performance max, as I said, is a high priority campaign and it takes precedent in terms of the impressions and, and where it will um, your ad will be shown, okay? Now you might be okay with that. Some people aren't, especially if they've got really well performing uh, search campaigns and shopping campaigns. So just know that before uh, you launch your performance max. I'll show you what I mean. For example, I'm in a live Google ad account here. We've got last 14 days worth of data. Here are a bunch of performance max campaigns that are you know getting lots of impressions and clicks. And if I just scroll down real quick, You'll see I've got some normal shopping campaigns here that are getting some impressions, but you know, if I went back in time, you would see that they have significantly less impressions and clicks. Okay. So that's the first thing Google won't tell you. The second thing that Google won't tell you is it's actually quite hard to assess the performance of your asset groups. And I'll show you what I mean. If I go into a particular performance max campaign, and I go to the asset groups, and I'm sorry I've had to blur some sensitive data, you'll see it doesn't actually give me performance data. So I've got a bunch of different asset groups uh, in different campaigns, but it doesn't actually tell me really any uh, information about it. it doesn't tell me in, out of impressions it's had, clicks, click-through rate, or anything like that. Okay, so just also know that when you have multiple asset groups in a performance max or even just one like it is in the case for this particular performance max, we have multiple asset groups in other ones that it's going to be really hard to assess the performance. You kind of have to gonna dig pretty deep within the campaign uh, to see uh, the performance. The third thing Google don't really tell you about Performance Max is that it kind of can't really optimize it. They are giving you more information as to the performance of it. They now actually have some search term data that they share with you, etc. But it doesn't mean that you can really add negative keywords. If you have a Google rep, you can't. They you can get the Google rep to add some negative keywords for you, but it's not nearly as easy, and uh, it's not you don't have nearly as much control as to wasted ad spend like you do with a normal search campaign or a normal shopping campaign. All right, so it's really hard to optimize it. It's naturally quite opaque about the performance and how you can improve it. And lastly, you also don't get to decide where your ad will be shown in the Google ecosystem. Other types of campaigns, you can decide if you want to advertise on the search network, the display network, YouTube, with a performance max, they're gonna put your ad in every possible place. And you, even when it's running, you have not much clarity as to where your budget went, which platform spent the most money, and which platform spent the least amount of money. And so therefore, it is not very transparent in terms of where your ads are being shown. Okay, hopefully this video is helpful. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.